Dear residents of Fitchburg, I'm appearing before you today not only as mayor for the previous six years, during which the city saw unprecedented growth, but also as a candidate humbly seeking to continue serving you and our great city. Throughout my campaigns, I promised the people of Fitchburg they would see our city grow and our citizens succeed. Our city teams are changing negative narratives and creating the positive Fitchburg story, one of new growth, forward thinking, and defining our own identity, an identity that shows Fitchburg becoming an economic and cultural destination. To play off of our incredible art museum, my team has worked to finalize plans for Artists Live Workspace in the former B.F. Brown School. We are working closely with Fitchburg State University to redevelop the theater block and throughout the city, which has been brightened by the many murals and artist installations. These projects, along with others, like the future Twin City Rail Trail, highlight Fitchburg's creative economy. Couple that with our economic development success and Fitchburg truly is headed in the right direction. Let us not underestimate the power of leadership and a great team. When I ran for office, I promised that City Hall would return to Main Street. This was not done simply to rebuild City Hall, but rather to become a beacon. We sent the message that Fitchburg is serious about its future. I'm pleased to report that this project came in on time and on budget. Since stating our intentions with your City Hall for All, there has been over $200 million in new, planned, and renovated construction in our downtown. Fitchburg is a great place to start a business and raise a family. Recent study found that among all the gateway cities, Fitchburg is a leader in supporting entrepreneurs of color. Our development comes not just in the form of businesses, manufacturing, cannabis, higher education, and tourism, but also in the form of housing. Fitchburg is an affordable place to live, work, and play. Total property valuations in FY22 amounted to more than $3 billion. We are attacking housing challenges head on, working with community partners, creating home ownership opportunities, and we've been recognized by the state's Housing and Economic Development Office when preparing sites for development. The COVID-19 pandemic brought incredible hardships and unimaginable change. I know that this time has been filled with many difficult decisions, but our educators, administrators, and support staff always have the best of intentions for our future leaders. I will continue to work with our Board of Health and local leaders to help protect residents from COVID-19. Speaking of schools, I'm pleased to report that throughout my tenure as school committee chair, the graduation rate at Fitchburg High School is at the highest level in history, at 90.1%, and our dropout rate is at its lowest, 0.7%. Furthermore, the MCAS scores have improved more than 20%. I'd like to commend all involved for their hard work and resilience. We continue working to improve the physical structures of our schools as well, replacing the roof at Long's Joe and completing designs for a new Crocker School. Additionally, we are making tremendous progress in combating crime in Fitchburg. Violent and property crimes are below the five-year average by 21%, and offenses in 2020 were 42% lower than in 2015. The efforts of Chief Martineau and the great men and women of our Fitchburg Police Department should be applauded. There's more work to do, especially as it relates to our roads and infrastructure. As we all know, the roads are a major challenge, but let me explain why. Our topography means our road lifespans are about a decade shorter than average, mixed with the cost of paving, about $1 million per mile, and with the state severely under-budgeting these projects, means that the costs shift to the city. However, I'm proud to announce that over my tenure, we have invested $17 million into the Department of Public Works Division and paved 48 miles of roads. Fitchburg, I'm here to tell you, working with community stakeholders, leaders, and investors, we have envisioned, planned, and we will continue to execute changes for a better Fitchburg. I'm asking for your vote to carry on our successful efforts and re-elect Steve DiNatale as your mayor for another term. I call on every resident to join me and commit to the positive Fitchburg story. Be bold, be decisive, and most of all, be proud. 
Hello to my longtime Fritzburg friends and those I haven't met yet. I am Andrew Cordio, and I am excited to be running for mayor of Fitchburg. I want to represent every resident of the city with pride and respect, and I want to make this place even better than it already is. As a lifelong 31-year-old fourth-generation resident of this city, the future of Fitchburg looks bright to me, and even brighter still with the change of leadership and philosophy in our mayor's office that we need. My life couldn't be more rooted in this city. The roots go all the way back to the early 1900s when my great-grandfather Antonio and his wife Winifred left Sicily and the Italian monarchy to come to the land of the free. My great-grandfather laid bricks in the tunnels that would become our sewers in this city. I know the struggles of businesses in this city. My family has owned and operated the 5050 Diner for 21 years now. Like many of you, I believe we can do better as a community. I truly love this city and I believe a change in governmental philosophy is what is needed in order to succeed as a community for the long term. Let's start with the roads. Everyone knows the roads are an issue. As mayor, I would make priority that we begin to develop <clears throat> and utilize better ways to address the issue. We can't keep blaming the state while we do next to nothing on our own. We, we, can prior, we can reprioritize our spending and do away with the current status quo policies that have been running the city for too long. We can refocus our efforts towards improving infrastructure and making it actually enjoyable to drive around the city, start to do away with the dirty burg stigma that we have on us. Obtaining a business license is no easy matter in Fitchburg, and we should be more open to all types of entrepreneurship. Large retail and corporate businesses tend to look away from Fitchburg because of our lack of highway access and poor geography. It has nothing to do with our city hall. The past, when Fitchburg was most economically successful in the past, is when we had local residents opening up local businesses in the city. That was supported with the paper mill industry and all the workers in those factories, which brings me to the cannabis industry and how I feel they can replace the paper mills in a lot of ways. They can be the economic cornerstone that the paper mills were 60 years ago. While we can foster a more friendly atmosphere at City Hall to encourage local residents to start their own businesses. There are things that are constantly happening in the city and the numbers always seem like they're a little bit smaller than they could be and I think that's due to poor communication. The current administration barely understands how Facebook works and by better utilizing ways of communication we can start to unify our social media and the city website and City Hall itself to present a more unified message to everybody. Better communication with the community will hopefully lead to better community engagement and further grow the number of great things that are already happening here in size and scope. Scope brings me to Fitchburg University. I feel that the stronger and bigger the campus is, the better off the city will be. I point to North Street as an example. Anybody who was around in the late 80s to mid 90s remembers what North Street used to look like. It was not a place you wanted to be. And it's, it's nice now. It's beautiful now. The college has those resources, they have the means, they have the incentive to do that with pretty much everything that they touch in the city, and I think that that can only bring us good things. I thank you for your time. I hope you'll join me in my push to invite more businesses into the city, fix the city's crumbling roads, and partner better with Fitchburg State to use our tax dollars more efficiently without increasing taxes. I look forward to the cities that may lay ahead. I thank you all for your time, and God bless this great th city. Thank you. Hello, Fitchburg. My name is Marcus Natali, and I am running for re-election to the Fitchburg City Council for the position of Councilor at Large. I entered public service at the age of 22, just out of college in 2005, serving as an elected school committee member for two years. In 2007, I was elected to the City Council, where I have proudly served since. I am a lifelong resident of the city, a 2001 graduate of Fitchburg High School, 
a 2005 graduate of Providence College, and a 2013 graduate of Bentley University. I am happily married to my wife, Sarah, a former Fitchburg public school teacher, and have two beautiful children, John and Sophia. Throughout my 16 years of public service to this city, I have always made and kept the following pledges. To be accessible and responsive. Providing effective constituent service is what this job is all about. I do not make pledges on anything I know I cannot deliver on because empty pledges result in a breach of trust. I command an extensive knowledge of this city's finances, serving as finance committee chairman and having legislated during the city's worst financial position during the Great Recession of 2008. It gave me great insight and perspective as to what this city should not do by way of its financial management, and I have been focused on ensuring this city does not return to pre-2008 financial practices. By way of legislative actions, I will continue to support any and all mayoral free cash appropriation requests that invest in our road infrastructure, municipal and school buildings, equipment, and stabilization. I will continue to support structurally balanced budgets and ensure said budgets meet spending requirements set forth by the Commonwealth for our public schools. I will continue to support maintaining the city's single tax rate, which has already proven to be beneficial to this city's economic growth climate. I will continue to support legislation that improves parking, traffic flow, and safety in our neighborhoods. During this campaign, you may hear from some of my opponents about what they intend to do by way of roads, schools, etc. Please understand that city councilors are very limited in what they can do legislatively with respect to spending. We are not allowed to initiate spending requests, craft budgets, or repurpose spending. These are all mayoral functions. The city council's role is to analyze what the mayor puts before us and determine if these spending initiatives make sense and are beneficial to the community. Please be mindful of these facts as you listen to other candidates' speeches. I have never held a fundraiser nor solicited donations. My social media presence is my principal means of transparency and accessibility. The job I do is advertising enough. My extensive experience brings context to any discussion topic. I never shy away from pushing back against false narratives or misinformation. My goal continues to be educating my constituency on the facts, not focused on their votes every two years. The votes will come if I do the job adequately in their estimation. There are up to five choices voters can make on the ballot for councilor at large. These positions cover all six wards in the city. I respectfully ask for one of your five allowed votes on November 2nd, so I may continue the task of providing excellent constituent services, steadfast oversight of our municipal finances, and supporting a growing economic development climate taking place now in our great city. I will be listed first on the at-large section of your ballot. If you would like a campaign lawn sign, please email me at Marcus Dinatale, all one word, at gmail.com. Marcus Dinatale at gmail.com. You can also contact me on one of my two Facebook pages, Marcus Dinatale or Marcus Lewis Dinatale. Thank you for your continued support. Hello again, Fitchburg residents. I am City Councilor Amy Green. I appear before you today asking for your continued support as I seek re-election to City Council. I get asked why I choose to be involved in this city by people who say, so what? Who cares? What difference can you really make? Well, I'm here to tell you that I do care. I am you. I live, work, and own a business here in town. As an elected official, I identify with you. I pay taxes, drive these roads, and write my check every month to Unitil, just like you. I believe that by working in partnership with our community resources, with integrity, respect, and responsibility, we will team build for the city's best interest. We will bring improvement to all Fitchburg residents. There's improvement happening every, in every corner of our community. You've seen our departments working together, making positive strides, progress every day. This is Fitchburg moving forward a great place to be. You will soon see an update to the urban renewal plan that will utilize acquisition, demolition, and rehabilitation. We will be able to attract more large-scale businesses, 
following in Amazon's footsteps. We will have an option for all housing, including affordable, market rate, and downtown luxury living. We will advance our transportation assets by offering multi-mode transportation services. We will create connections <clears throat> to the National River and Lagoon sites via our new rail trail and walking and biking options. You will see new businesses being opened in existing empty building, buildings and vacant land lots being built upon. All very exciting times. Don't give up hope on us. I will continue to work along those who want to improve the vitality of our city and create places people want to be. I have a reputation of being an independent thinker while also being a team player. I will continue to be approachable and accessible. I have gained valuable knowledge by sitting as city councilor, but also as president of the Fitchburg Community Lions Club, a service oriented group of members who provide volunteer service for civic projects, promote awareness for our vision impaired, and furnish food baskets to Fitchburg residents in need. With the help of this group, we will focus on empowering volunteers to serve their community, meet humanitarian needs, and live a life with purpose. My civic involvement also extends into the Fitchburg Historical Society. I am honored to be the president of this great organization. We have faced the same struggles as every other nonprofit business in town during this pandemic. I am happy to say that due to fiscal responsibility and board teamwork, we have managed to provide resources and programming that keeps us relevant in 01420 and beyond. Thank you to all that support our foundation in collecting, preserving, and promoting our history. In closing, I would ask again for your support on November 2nd as you exercise your right to vote. I believe in the strengths of our city and will work hard for all of you as we continue to move forward. I may be second on the ballot, but I want to be first in your hearts. Thank you. Hi, my name is Thomas Hughes. This past February, I was given the awesome opportunity to serve on the city council as your counselor at large. Once again, I have made the decision to run. On November 2nd, as registered voters, you will have the awesome task of selecting five out of the eight candidates for Councilor at Large. I'm asking for your support and vote as a candidate for Councilor at Large. Time and time again, I've been asked, why do you want to run for City Council? And what are some of the changes that you would like to see happen? Those questions are simple for me. I want to run, again, because I love my city. I want to see Fitchburg thrive. I want to see us be in the best place that we can be. I want us to be an innovative, creative community, arts community, where people from all around want to come here and live. Throughout my years, I've worked with some great people, served on many community organizational boards, uh, developed some creative youth programs, where now some of those youth are successful members of our community. I want to run again because I want to be a part of a team that will work hard to move the agenda forward. As a pastor, educator, small business owner, and a community leader, I've had the most amazing opportunity working alongside members of this community from all walks of life, including elected officials, parents, youth, and young adults. As your counselor at large, I will continue to strive to be an approachable counselor for all members of our community. And I will assure you that I will continue to work for, work hard for you to make Fitchburg a better place. Second, to the second question, I'm not telling you that I have all the answers to all the issues that we face daily in Fitchburg, but I am standing here telling you that I will work tire tirelessly with the other members of the council to ensure that we put ourselves in the best possible place to succeed. I'm not gonna stand here and make a bunch of false promises. I know that it takes teamwork. I know that it takes all of us working together to make sure that we do the best thing that we can do for the city. I commit myself as an elected official 
to be a bridge builder to the many talented, innovative, and creative young minds in our city. Let's give them an opportunity to speak to us and tell us what their concerns are. Too many of our talented young people are leaving Fitchburg once they require, require, acquire the skills that they need uh, in order to succeed in life. We don't need those talents leaving our city. We need those talents, we need those skilled young people to drop their anchor in the city of Fitchburg where they can be thriving members of our community. I will commit myself to working with the leadership of the city to make sure we do a better job at disseminating information regarding small business resources. I could go on and on and try to make all the political points that prospective candidates will make, but I can only be me. Today, tomorrow, and always, I just simply want to make a difference. A person who will always work hard and be accessible is truly what makes a great leader. And I trust that these attributes can reflect my love for and service to the city of Fitchburg. I commit myself to be fair, accessible, consistent, and trustworthy. My name is Thomas Hughes, and I thank you for your vote. Hi, I'm Sam Squalia, and I'm a candidate for re-election for city council at large for your Fitchburg City Council. Since I was first elected in 2017 to today, I have been honored to serve Fitchburg and represent the citizens on your city councilor, and your city council as your city councilor, and I'm asking for your vote on November 2nd so that I may continue to serve you. The past two years of this pandemic have been difficult. Our residents and our children have experienced a range of challenges, setbacks, and a loss of loved ones. But our Fitchburg community is resilient. With children back to school and people getting back to work, I'm looking forward to proper management and oversight of Fitchburg's $31.2 million in American Rescue Plan Act funds. That funds are allocated towards the people and the businesses that have been hit hardest by these extended shutdowns and restrictions and not towards special interest. I will continue to advocate for increased funding for road repair and paving projects for needed school funding and building repairs, and advocate for planning on funding our Fitchburg Public Library grant of approximately $13 million, Fitchburg's matching share. I look forward to advocating for that. And I will continue to be accessible to you for any concerns or suggestions by phone, email, in person, or on social media. If you have a question or concern that I can help you with, contact me anytime. I am from Fitchburg. I chose to raise my family here and start a business here. I love this city, and I'm committed to doing the work that we need to support our positive future growth. Um, people ask me, how did you get involved as a city councilor? And I always say, I volunteer endlessly to improve Fitchburg. Uh, I do this through uh, participating in organizations such as Keep Fitchburg Beautiful, doing weekly spring trash cleanups, maintaining the Fitchburg Dog Park, organizing the citywide yard sales, now in its fifth year, Fitchburg Greenway Committee, the Fitchburg Farmers Market Advisory Committee, doing discussing Fitchburg now, Stratton Players, and our new Fitchburg Abolitionist Park on Snow Street, to name a few. As your counselor, I will continue to show up, work hard, and move us forward on a smart fiscal path. I will continue to act on and advocate for government transparency for our residents and encourage open discussions about our issues. And I will continue to share factual and accurate information about what is going on in the city on social media and my website. 
You can call me at 978-352-0310. And you can follow what's going on in the city on my Facebook page, Sam Squalia, Fitchburg City Council at Large, or on my website, elect-sam.com. Please vote on November 2nd for Samantha, Sam, Squalia. A vote for me is a vote for an independent voice and a community-involved counselor. I promise to work hard for our city every day. I will continue to oversee our government spending in a fiscally responsible manner. As your city counselor, I represent you, not a political group or an administration, the citizens. No political favors, no nepotism. I'm beholden to no one except you, our residents. And I hope that I have earned your vote for your city councilor at large on November 2nd. Thank you so much. Hi, I'm Anthony Zarella, and it has been and continues to be my honor and privilege to be one of your city councilors at large and to serve as your city council president. It's been a long and eventful two years since I last ran. The world took a year-long sick day. We finished and opened City Hall. Lunatics invaded the Capitol. And we overhauled our entire zoning code and finally finished eliminating our anachronistic split tax rate. The nation lost another giant of the judiciary when Justice Ginsburg died. And we got the ball rolling on both rebuilding Crocker School and entirely redesigning Main Street and Boulder Drive. And my brother and I both became fathers and lost both our grandparents. Having a daughter and a niece growing up in this city has only magnified my passion for Fitchburg's future and the memory of my Norno, Mario's, intense love of this city has crystallized it. Whether either or both of the girls grows up to follow a job or a marriage out of town or whether they are living in Fitchburg their whole lives, I want their childhoods in this city to be joyful memories, and I want them to be proud, as proud as I am, as proud as their Norno is, and as proud as their great Norno is. Proud to be from Fitchburg. On November 2nd, please cast one of your five votes for Councillor at Large for Anthony Zarella. But more importantly, whether you intend to vote for me or not, please go vote. Thank you. Hello, Fitchburg. My name is Sally Cragen, and I am running for Fitchburg City Council, Councillor at Large. For the past 13 years, I've served on Fitchburg School Committee, including a term as Vice Chair. I've co-founded two vital subcommittees, Building Needs and Student Support, and served on many other subcommittees, including negotiations, finance, and policy. I am proud of the work that I've done to get funding from Mass School Building Authority. We repaired many of our school buildings that had been neglected for decades. Our Building Needs Subcommittee was essential to obtain millions of dollars for Fitchburg to fix boilers, furnaces, roofs, windows, and doors. Fitchburg only paid 20% of the total cost for many of these needed fixes. I also established the Fitchburg Education Foundation at the Community Foundation in 2008. Fitchburg Public Schools needed long-term investment to help support programs that school funding didn't cover, such as our after-school programs. During a period of reduced funding in 2008, I advocated for student programs such as music, drama, and middle school sports. We have those. I am very proud I was on the school committee when we began the Honors Academy at the high school and expanded our AP offerings to all high school students. Our partnership with Fitchburg State University was the first public school, public college collaboration in the state of Massachusetts. I also made sure that we reinstated the high school musical and we have a strong music program at FHS. 
I've been adamant the connection between Fitchburg Public Schools and Fitchburg Art Museum remains solid and collaborative. I also advocated the importance of including local history in our schools. Fitchburg is a great city with a rich history. Our kids need to know and value our story as they grow up and add to that story in their own lives. In our community, I serve as chair of Stratton Players, the oldest community theater in continuous operation. We celebrate our centennial in 2025. I have also worked with every city department on a variety of projects. These include the low-cost pet vaccine clinic at, Fitch at the fire department, which I began in 2011, a children's theater and therapy pet program that's been going for years at Fitchburg Public Library, and I co-founded DPW Day. As a city councilor, the planks of my platform include supporting local economic development. I've talked to many folks who have a business in Fitchburg. I'm concerned that they are successful here and grow their businesses. My family owned Star Cleaners for over 70 years, and I know what it's like to be responsible for a family business. I love providing constituent services. As I campaigned, I met many residents with questions about everything from how to report overgrown bushes on public ways or who need assistance on working with city departments. I am very happy to help everyone. Finally, we have information about Fitchburg in the 2020 census. I have been analyzing this data and I hope our city can use this information to see where the new needs are and to help all our residents, particularly low income seniors. Thank you for watching. Thank you, FATV, for making this opportunity available. I can always be reached by text or calling 978-320-1335. That's 978-320-1335. Again, I'm Sally Cragen. I'm asking for one of your five votes for Fitchburg City Council at large, and we'll see you at the polls. My name is Muna Kangson, and it is my privilege to speak to you about my candidacy for an at-large seat on the Fitchburg City Council in November. I want to thank Fitchburg Access Television for this great opportunity. I am running for the City Council because diversity and representation matter, because we need inclusive and innovative leadership in the city, and because I can contribute significantly to the important conversations happening in our community with regards to economic development, civil rights, engaging the youth, housing, education and the environment. Economic development. Economic development will create opportunities for community members and help to fund our priorities. I will work with Fitchburg State University to facilitate the university investing in a bigger footprint in the city. I will tap into the intellectual resources at the university to help address some of the social and economic problems we face in our community. And I will work to develop training programs with the university to provide Fitchburg residents with the skills that they need uh, to, 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 to take jobs in the new economy. Revitalizing downtown will require people living in downtown, and I will work with colleagues on the city council to change zoning laws to make this possible as, as, to make this possible as quickly as we can. Folks, the ultimate development in this city will require us to invest money in, in a trolley or a light rail system that would connect various communities in central Massachusetts to Worcester. This may seem as a far-fetched idea, but if elected to the city council, I will work with, with community members and other councillors from neighboring communities to create a working group so we can start exploring this possibility. Opportunities for youth are an important uh, part of my platform. We often say the future lies with youth, yet we don't want to engage them in these important conversations which concern them and their lives in the future. My plan for the youth will provide them an important voice in city conversations about youth issues. The city of Fishburg has a youth commission. I was on their website recently, could not find any information about their, their last meeting or when they will be meeting next. I will work with city leaders and community groups to start a mayor's summer youth employment program. The summer youth employment program will provide jobs for Fishburg youth during the summer months. It will be a vehicle to earn an income, to develop a work ethic, and meet other people. I will work to create youth centers in the cities so that youth will have a place to go um, uh, meet each other uh, and to spend their time constructively. September is recovery month, and I acknowledge September as recovery month because we have a, an opioid crisis in Fishburg, and we need to deal with this issue um, urgently. My plan to deal with the opioid crisis in Fishburg begins with acknowledging that addiction is an illness. 
To successfully combat the opioid crisis will require a public and private partnership. I will mobilize local churches, NGOs, community groups in Fishburg to create an opioid crisis working group to identify resources, strategies, and best practices from other communities that have successfully dealt with the crisis so we can better manage ours. Housing. Housing remains a daunting issue for many families in, in many communities, including Fishburg. Lack of housing destroys communities as people are forced to move elsewhere in search of housing. As Deputy Chief of Staff and Director of Housing of for Constituent Services in the Office of the Mayor of Cambridge, I observed firsthand how housing-related issues destroyed family. This is what I'm proposing to do to address the housing, affordable housing issue in, in Fitchburg. I will work with my colleagues on the City Council to create an affordable housing trust to raise money to build affordable housing units in Fishburg. You may wonder how this trust will be funded. The, fund will be, the trust will be funded by the establishment of a linkage fee in the city that would, we, will red, we, we will levy on residential and non-residential developments exceeding a certain square footage. If elected to the City Council, I will also work to pass an including, inclusionary zoning ordinance. An inclusionary zoning ordinance will require that some units be set aside for affordable housing in all new developments which exceed a certain square footage. Civil rights. As the protests which engulfed the country after the killing of George Floyd revealed, we have a lot of work to do in the area of civil rights, and this is work I am willing to tackle head on. I would like to propose, if elected to the council, the creation of a civilian oversight police board that would investigate uh, complaints against the police by Cambridge residents. The police review and advisory board would provide prompt, impartial, and fair investigations of complaints brought by individuals against members of the police, provide for citizen participation in reviewing police department policies, and develop programs and strategies to promote positive police community relations. Hi. My name is Miranda Tozier Robbins. When I was in elementary school, Child World was my favorite toy store. My family used to go to Ponderosa on Sundays after church. Um, in the summer of 98 was when we had moved to Fitchburg. Um, it was my sophomore year in high school. Um, so I've, I've been here, yeah, gosh, over 20 years now. Uh, this past January, um, I had applied uh, for my taxi license uh, with, the, with the city council, with some council members, and, um, well, the police lieutenant, he was there. And um, I remember when I had told them that I was running for, for city council, the reaction, everybody's reaction was, <laughs> you know? And uh, I remember the LT, you know, he did one of these moves right here. And I tell that anecdote to say this, that like, you know, if, if I was Caucasian and had a penis <laughs> and said that I was running for council, do you think the lieutenant would have went like that? No, I don't think he would have. That's the point that I'm making is that, you know, we need more representation, more representation. Because, you know, I, I tell you something, you know, when, when I returned to City Hall with my, with my first batch of signatures, right, I remember I, I, you know, I handed the lady my, you know, my paper, my signatures, and it wasn't oh, congratulations, you know, let's see what you got here, that I, you know, it was, huh, well, this race gets interesting each year, you know, I, what's that supposed to mean, you know, if I was somebody else walking in with a batch, you know, it doesn't matter, though, but, um, you know, with the remaining time that I have left, because that's really all I wanted to share was those two anecdotes, and it only took me two minutes to say that, um, we could talk about all the things on this card, right, we have um, criminal justice reform, which, I mean, that's a big one, I mean, I don't, Probably one of the one of the few candidates that that's probably been in the uh, criminal justice system to even be able to to speak about like just yeah how unfair wrong like all kinds of things is is wrong with it homelessness huge 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 issue in our city probably one of the only candidates who's actually lived on the streets of Fitchburg <laughs> DPW reconfiguration everybody's always complaining about you know the problems I think. Like one of the things that we can do, we can all work together when we're making these city plans, when we're deciding what we're gonna do with the roads, with the bridges, we can all do it together, you know what I mean, as a group, as a city. And some, uh, education, uh, very huge. I think everybody in the city needs to be educated. <laughs> uh, the city budget, something we can all work on together. Definitely the opioid epidemic. I did attend uh, the vigil that, that we had this, this past week. And um, you know, I was actually disappointed you know, 
I um I I, I figure that um uh, that the emphasis would have been more about the people that were that were on the wall. Do you know what I mean? And and about their accomplishments and what they were doing in their life. More so than some of the speakers who were, I don't know, wanted to talk about how long they've known each other. I don't know. <laughs> Anyways, uh, new government, speaking of. So that's, um, I, think, um, I think together uh, we, we, can, we can really make a lot happen, you know. I'm really, I'm really excited about all this, you know. And um, like I say, uh, it's not me you're electing into office. It's us. Thank you. My name is Bernie Schultz, and I'm currently the Ward 1 City Councilor in Fitchburg. I'm running for re-election to my Ward 1 City Council position. Why am I running for re-election? I'm running for a second term on the City Council because I believe I still have something to offer the voters of Fitchburg. I will continue to listen to your concerns and always get back to you when you contact me. I will offer you empathy and validation. All voters deserve those two responses when they contact me. I'll look to understand your perspective and I will always accept what you tell me as your reality. I will do my best to represent you. After being your counselor for the past year and a half, I've gained a better understanding of what it takes to serve you. Just as I keep learning and growing on a regular basis as an adult education teacher from Mount Wachusett Community College, I will continue to learn and grow as a city counselor. I will continue to hold Ward 1 meetings so you and I can listen to other city officials explain their roles in government. At the meetings, you and I will continue to be able to ask questions of these officials and get answers from them. By the way, the next Ward 1 meeting is on Monday, September 13th at 6.30 p.m. at the Central Fire Station on North Street. Over the past couple of years, I've been an active member of the Montachusett Martin Luther King Coalition. The coalition has tried to bring a better understanding to everyone in the area about the struggles of people of color due to racism. I have often participated as a facilitator for wrestling with racism discussions over the Zoom platform. As a result of my continued learning during these discussions, I want to continue to work to, toward a more diverse and inclusive society in Fitchburg. That includes all facets of city government. I also recently joined the board of directors for the new abolitionist park on Snow Street. I think it's important to have everyone in Fitchburg gain a better understanding of the history of African Americans in our country, particularly in the city of Fitchburg. When former and current slaves arrived in Fitchburg looking for their freedom, citizens like Benjamin Snow Jr., Samuel Crocker, and Alpheus Kimball escorted them to freedom as part of the Underground Railroad. Eventually, the Fitchburg Abolitionist Park will have an educational kiosk that people will, can use with their cell phones to get information about the history of the abolitionist movement in Fitchburg. So that's my story. Please vote for me on November 2nd for Ward 1 Fitchburg City Councilor. I can't remain a city councilor without your vote. Thank you. Greetings, Ward 2, and to the people of Fitchburg. My name is Paul Boschman. I am seeking re-election this year for Ward 2. I'm asking for your support. I give you two promises that I can keep. I promise to continue to work hard like I have been for the last four terms, and I'll do the best of my ability for the city and for our ward. So please, on November 2nd, please go and vote. I want to say thank you, and I have one other favor to ask the residents of Fitchburg. As I drive around the city, I notice that we don't have a lot of DPW workers, and some of our sidewalks are look like forests. I was asking if you can take, take the time to cut the overgrowth on, in front of your house on sidewalks. Uh, it makes the neighborhoods look bad and the city look bad. So if you please could take your time and take, take a little time out of your life to cut the, the overgrowth in front of your property, that would be greatly appreciated. Thank you, and please, on November 2nd, go and vote. Thank you, and take care. Hello, Fitchburg and the residents of Ward 3. My name is Andrew Kucher and I'm running for re-election to the Fitchburg City Council for the position of Ward 3 Councilor. I first want to thank everybody for the opportunity to represent Ward 3 on the City Council for the past two years. Unfortunately, 
Nobody was expecting the pandemic that caused so much upheaval in our daily lives and routines. I started having ward meetings in February of 2020, but could not continue due to the shutdown. It's my intention to continue with these meetings once we are clear from the virus. The pandemic changed the way the city conducted everyday business. And although it's been a challenge, Fitchburg persevered. And we have come out better and stronger on the other side. You have seen tremendous growth and opportunity in Fitchburg over the past few years. I'm proud to have been a member of that growth. And I want to continue growth in Fitchburg. The changes that we experience were challenging for a newly elected city council, but I maintain my promise to patrol, ward th to patrol the ward to look for and address issues important to Ward 3. From the everyday potholes that develop in our neighborhood to the illegal dumping that's a constant issue in some of our areas like Upper West Street, 5th Mass Turnpike, Shea Street, Williams, any of the country roads. I've been thoroughly committed to my time as a city councilor and representing Ward 3 is a responsibility I do not take lightly. As we move into the next election cycle, I ask you, the voters of Ward 3, to once again put your trust and faith in me to continue to lead with confidence, autonomy, and purpose. Please take the time on voting day to get to the polls and vote for me, Andrew Kucher, Ward 3 City Councilor. Thank you and God bless. Hello, my name is Andy Van Hazinga and I'm running for re-election as Fitchburg's Ward 4 City Councilor. I've only been on the City Council for one term, but I've served the city for much longer. I was on the Fitchburg Planning Board for a decade and helped shepherd investment and development projects throughout the city. I also served on the, as the president of the Board of Directors of Newview Communities, a nonprofit striving to make Fitchburg and the surrounding region a better place to live, work, and invest. I also served shorter terms as a commissioner of the Fitchburg Housing Authority and a director of the Redevelopment Authority prior to being elected. I am a small business owner who was born in Ward 4 and is now raising th three children here with my wife, Liz. I'm running for office because I want Fitchburg to be a great place to live and raise my family. This requires that we make good decisions for our city, not just to deal with the problems we face now, but to also plan for the future. I want Fitchburg to be successful not just today, but also when my children are grown and starting families of their own. Every decision I have made and every vote I have cast as a city councillor has been guided by one basic principle, do the right thing. I'm a private person who does not want fame or glory. I do not seek any higher political office and I'm not interested in personal alliances or conflicts. I merely want to do what is best for the city, for today and tomorrow. An important part of being a city councilor is listening to residents and acting as an advocate on their behalf. The city does not always have the resources to address every problem immediately, but I will make sure that all of my constituents are always heard. I understand the challenges our city faces because this is my home too. Liz and I have children in the school system, I drive over the same roads as you, and we have the same concerns with drugs and crime in our neighborhood. But I also see what is great about Fitchburg. I see the wonderful residential neighborhoods tucked away in different parts of the city. I take my kids to our parks where they play in a local sports league that attracts kids from all over the region. I see the extraordinary investment that has been made in our industrial properties by the cannabis industry and the growth of our city as a destination for people to come and have fun. I see the myriad of possibilities our downtown has for redevelopment, and our opportunity to encourage and shape this growth is now. I am running for City Council because Fitchburg needs dedicated leaders who will make good decisions and aren't afraid to do what is right. Please help me move our city forward and vote for me this November. Thank you. Good morning, my name is Marisa Fleming and I am running for third, third term to be your Ward 5 City Councilor. As a former school committee member and current City Councilor, I have always been accessible, dependable and responsive. So on November 2nd, I ask for your vote 
to once again have the privilege to represent the constituents of Ward 5. Thank you. Have a nice weekend. Hello. My name is Derek Cruz, and I'm running for Fitchburg City Council, Ward 6. When I tell people I'm running, the first question I'm always asked is why. And the truth is, although I felt the call to serve my community for some time, it wasn't until recently that that call became too loud to ignore. As we know, 2020 was a year unlike any other. It was a year defined by a disturbing pandemic, near unprecedented division, and at times an alarming sense of hopelessness. Now, when I looked around, I saw a whole lot of people pointing the finger. Not just placing blame, but asking others what they were going to do. Asking their senators and their police officers, their teachers, what are you going to do? I decided the only way to fight this sense of hopelessness was to stop looking around and ask myself, what am I going to do? How can I make the world a better place? That might sound bombastic to some, making the world a better place, but making the world better doesn't mean you change the whole world overnight. It means you make it better for those around you. And I'd like to start doing so in the city that I was born and raised, Fitchburg, as your next Ward 6 city councilor. So that's the why. Now the what. What am I going to do? As your Ward 6 councilor, I will always be available to address your concerns no matter how big or small whether it be a pothole you've been trying to have filled or the speeding on your street or a dying tree dangerously close to falling on your property, rest assured I will work diligently on your issues. We probably spoke about it already either at a town meeting or when I knocked on your door canvassing. I haven't forgotten about our conversation or your concerns. I'm working on it already, and I certainly won't stop once I'm elected. When it comes to the number one concern amongst constituents, the conditions of our roads, I can tell you this. No one is coming to save us. It's going to be up to us to fix our roads, and I believe in order to do so, we need to continue to work together to improve our economy in Fitchburg as a whole. We improve our economy, we improve our roads. This brings me to the first pillar of my platform, economic growth. I believe it is vital that we continue to work together to make Fitchburg more business friendly. In order to do so, we need to continue to seek out and create new resources for our small business owners so that they can attain sustainable growth. And we need to continue to secure the resources we do have to ensure Fitchburg stays open for business. The second pillar of my platform is community development, and this I've already begun. I joined the Fitchburg Cultural Council to support the, uh, support the growth of Fitchburg's art and cultural identity, and I joined the Fitchburg Library Board of Trustees to support the hire of a new library director and to ensure that the library, which serves tens of thousands of people every year, has the resources it needs to continue to remain one of the backbones of our city, and I will not stop working inside the community as your next counselor. My third pillar is education, and this one is simple. We continue to support our students by supporting our teachers. After the past year, I think we can all appreciate a little more with students learning from home the hard work and effort that goes into teaching. Simply put, if our teachers are supported, our students will succeed. This is the platform I've built so I've gone door to door talking with voters and residents. But I haven't just been speaking with residents. Over the past year, I've been talking with everyone, from community planners and city developers to commissioners and current counselors, learning the ins and outs of Ward 6 and Fitchburg. Because of this preparation, I can say with complete confidence, I am ready to hit the ground running on day one as your Ward 6 city councilor. I won't need the first six months getting caught up. I spent the last year doing it. I'm ready to serve today. The final aspect of my preparation, admittedly, has been education from Barnes & Noble. And I'll quote one of the great minds that I learned about and tried to learn from during this education, John F. Kennedy. He said, let us not despair, but act. Let us not seek the Republican answer or the Democratic answer, but the right answer. Let us not seek to fix the blame for the past, but accept our own responsibility for the future. To that I say, I accept. I accept to take action in the face of hopelessness because only through action can hopelessness be defeated. I refuse to wake up in the morning and point the finger knowing I have the ability, the will, and the resolve to do more, to make a difference, to act and to lead. My name is Derek Cruz. I am the common sense, common ground candidate for Ward 6 City Council, and I hope I can count on your vote November 2nd. Thank you. Hello, my name is Olivia Tran, and I'm a candidate for Ward 6 City Councilor. As a lifelong resident of Fitchburg, I see great potential in our city. I am a proud product of the Fitchburg school system. My education consists of McKay and Rangold Elementary School, Memorial Middle School, Fitchburg High School, Fitchburg State University, and Northeastern University. Our great city has many challenges, and together we can find solutions to solve them. All we need are intelligent people who can understand these challenges and help provide the vision dedication, and innovative ideas to overcome them. Over 80% of our property tax revenue is derived from homeowners, while the remaining 20%, decreasing annually, derives from commercial and industrial companies. Our city cannot allow this trend to continue, and the homeowners cannot afford to continue carrying this burden. Economic development, growth, and opportunities are topics that need to be at the forefront of the city. 
We need to attract businesses to the city to create jobs for the residents. We have so much talent in the city, but the talent and young people like myself are leaving or commuting to other cities for employment. The people in Fitchburg need help. We should keep taxes low in order to avoid placing this burden on homeowners. Economic growth is the engine that will help the city of Fitchburg address many of its problems. Some of these problems include bad streets and roads and inadequate staffing in our public safety and public works departments. We need to commit to paving our roads and increase our workforce. We need to invest in our school buildings. I will not allow the safety of our children to be compromised by having them learn in buildings that are falling apart. I will always put our children first, and we need to put the future of the city before anything else. I know a thing or two about politics because I've learned from the best. I know that ele elected officials are supposed to serve the people. I have lived in Ward 6 for my entire life. It is time for me to start giving back to the city. My father taught me that life is politics. If I see something wrong, I should get involved. I will bring hard work, independence, and fresh ideas to the city of Fitchburg. Fitchburg is where I call home. Help me move the city forward. Together, we can create a better and brighter future for everyone to enjoy. I am asking for your vote on November 2nd. I am Olivia Tran, and I'm running for Ward 6 City Councilor. Thank you. Hello, my name is Rosemary Reynolds. I'm running for re-election to the Fitchburg School Committee. I ask you to please vote for me in the November election. I thank FATV for this opportunity to deliver, to deliver a message of hope to our educational community in the Fitchburg school system, kindergarten through 12th year of academics. Hope to our parents, hope to our students, hope to our teachers. Parents want their children to develop intellectual skills and good moral character. Parents want them to have the knowledge to provide for themselves and their future families. They expect that their children will have been pointed to the path of the good life. We are an urban school, and often school culture is in conflict with street culture. Hope to our children who naturally imitate parents and teachers. The young people look to us for inspiration and guidance. They want to be cherished, they want to be guarded from harm, and they want to be loved. They want to be seen as the treasure they are, unique, unrepeatable, and irreplaceable. Hope to our teachers who live among us with a special task of guiding students to knowledge and assisting in the building of character and resilience in these tumultuous times. Parents want their children to be literate. They want their children to be safe and kept from harm's way. What guides this schooling? Curriculum. That is where complex and complicated issues arise. Parents want to be informed about the curriculum. Parents want to know that the adults they have asked to teach their children can be trusted with this charge. Schools do not sponsor themselves. Citizens of our community pay a large amount of school cost with their property taxes. The schools must be effective. The school committee wants to give help to the teachers to meet their needs. It is a liaison between the citizens and the administrators of education. I want to help going forward to be the best that we can be to retain what is good, and to learn more. Massachusetts established the first public school in 1635, the Boston Latin School. Massachusetts founded the first university in America in 1636, Harvard University. 
one of our own graduates of the class of 2021 from Fitchburg High School, Verna Teta Anand, has started her first week at this university. Fitchburg High School itself was founded in 1830. We are leaders here. This year, Fitchburg will educate 5,116 students. Let us be filled with goodwill and with hope as we shoulder our task together to lead our children to a good and contributing adulthood. There is hope, hope for parents, hope for children, hope for teachers. Please vote for me, Rosemary Reynolds, to represent you on your school committee. Thank you very much. My name is Peter Stevens, and I'm a candidate for the Fitchburg School Committee. I have served on the Fitchburg School Committee for the past 12 years. I am currently the vice chair of the committee, chair of the resource subcommittee, chair of the building needs subcommittee, and the school committee representative to the new Crocker School Building Committee. I am also the representative and chair of the board of CAPS Collaborative. CAPS Collaborative is a special needs school made up of 11 cities and towns. I was a teacher and administrator in the Fitchburg Public School System for 35 years. My last 10 years serving as principal of the Rheingold Elementary School. I am a member of the Crockerfield Restoration Committee and the Fitchburg High School Hall of Fame Committee. I'm a proud graduate of Fitchburg High School. I graduated with a Bachelor of Education and a Master's Degree in Educational Administration from Keene State College. My children graduated from Fitchburg High School and I have two grandchildren who are members of Fitchburg High School. I have always supported the students in their endeavors to get the best possible education that the city of Fitchburg can provide. As chair of the Fitchburg High School Alumni Association, I continue to support the graduates of Fitchburg High School to further their college education, military career, or whatever of life's journey they take upon graduation. I ask for your vote in November so that I may continue to support the school children of Fitchburg as I have for all of these many years. Sincerely, Peter Stevens. Thank you. Hi, I am Dr. Maritza Knight, and I would like to take this time to say thank you to Ann Bisbee and everyone here at FATV for this important public relations opportunity. I came here today to ask all registered voters in Fitchburg, Massachusetts, to vote for me on November the 2nd for a seat on the school committee of our city. I am a candidate with a vested interest in this community. Consequently, my vision is to unite the city of Fitchburg to promote a better future for all our students. In this 21st century, our students are of diverse backgrounds, making our city a melting pot. Therefore, it is important for our school board to have diverse representation also. The city of Fitchburg need equitable opportunities for all. I am a candidate of language diversity, ethnic diversity, educational diversity, geographical diversity, ready and equipped to promote student success to close the academic achievement gap, to get our students up to speed after COVID, to advocate 21st century policies for 21st century students. One who will listen and give you all the opportunity to be heard. So I encourage you all to do your part for the benefit of our students. Therefore, if you are not registered to vote, you must register at City Hall before October 13. And on November the 2nd, make the right decision. Vote for the one with vision. Vote for Dr. Maritza Knight for school committee. My contact information is as follows. 
committee to elect Dr. Maritza Knight for city uh, for school committee, P.O. Box 535, Fitchburg, Massachusetts, 01420. Hola, soy la doctora Maritza Knight. Y quiero aprovechar este mom momento para darle las gracias a Ann Bisbee y a todos aquí en FA Televisión por esta importante oportunidad de relaciones públicas. He venido hoy para pedirles a todos los ciudadanos registrados para votar en la ciudad de Fitchburg, Massachusetts, que voten por mí en noviembre 2 para el Consejo Escolar de nuestra ciudad. Yo soy una ciudadana con intereses creados en esta comunidad. Por lo tanto, mi visión es el de unir a la ciudad de Fitchburg para promover un mejor futuro para todos los estudiantes. En este siglo XXI, nuestra comunidad está compuesta de diversas uh, antecedentes, haciendo nuestra ciudad un crisol. Por lo tanto, es muy importante que el consejo escolar tenga diversidad de miembros. La ciudad de Fitchburg necesita oportunidades de equidad para todos. Yo soy una candidata con diversidad de, la, de lenguas, diversidad educacional, diversidad geográfica, y estoy lista y equipada para promover éxito estudiantil, cerrar la brecha de logro académico, dirigir a los estudiantes a la, a, a, hasta la velocidad después de la virus corona, escuchar a todos y darle la oportunidad para que sean escuchados. Así es que si usted no está registrado para votar, Regístrese antes del 13 de octubre en la municipalidad, o sea, en City Hall. Y el 2 de noviembre, vo el 2 de noviembre, tome una buena decisión. Vote por la que tiene visión. Vote por la doctora Maritza Knight para consejo escolar. Pueden comunicarse conmigo o contactarse conmigo al comité para elegir a la doctora Maritza Knight al consejo escolar, al PO Box, 535 Fitchburg, Massachusetts, 01420. Muchas gracias. Thank you very much. Greetings. My name is Furkan Mahmoud. I'm running for school committee for Fitchburg. My passion is for poetry, so I'm going to express my views with a poem. Born and raised in this wonderful city, I'm a candidate for the position of school committee. Attended the public school system a while back, and now my progeny will carry on with a backpack. My aim is to listen to the student's voice. They're our future, and we have no choice. Parents, teachers, and admin are not to be left out. Communication is our key to education's route. I'm a parent and have love and respect for everyone's word. And I will make sure your every concern is heard. Fishburg Public Schools is dear to my heart. I care about its image and will uphold it from the start. From South Street to B.F. Brown and even Fishburg State, I have an investment in this system and can relate. My name is Furkan Mahmood, so please take note. I kindly ask you for a chance and your precious vote. So there's three vo open seats, and I would like one of your three seats. So once again, F-U-R-Q-A-N, Furkan Mahmood for School Committee. God bless. Thank you very much. <laughs> 